you mentioned stem cells. Right. This is, this is for the past seven years. So I, I'm one of, I think, four doctors now that is um, um, qualified to teach insulin potentiated chemotherapy, IPT. And that is a fabulous way to do chemotherapy. So fabulous that I just think it's illogical for anyone to, who's going to get chemotherapy, if they want to do chemo, they should do IPT. A couple quick reasons, and you, this might be included in other people discussing it, but you have to know that when you give insulin, it shifts the cancer cells to what's called the S phase or the synthesis phase or the active phase, and that's the only phase that chemotherapy can be effective. So you have really four phases that the cancer cell can be in. So you got a 25% chance that if you give chemo, it's going to kill the cancer cell. Well, if you give insulin beforehand, it pushes them into about 70% S phase. So now you've got almost a three out of four chance to kill cancer cells. Well, if you're going to give chemo, let's kill the cancer cells. Right. Just giving a little insulin pushes the cells into the vulnerable phase. The second thing I like about insulin potentiated chemotherapy is that when you when you give the insulin, it makes the cell membranes not only more permeable to chemotherapy selectively mm -hmm. compared to your other healthy cells, but it also inhibits the cancer cell from kicking out the toxic chemotherapy. So as good as IPT is, I don't offer it anymore. And the reason I don't is because it only kills tumors. Cancer tumors are not the real target. Cancer stem cells which is usually about less than 3% of the tumor mass would be the cancer stem cell. These are the ringleaders. Um, these are the guys that are, that are fomenting a riot. And they have their lieutenants. But for the most part, a group riot is really composed of bystanders who watch and maybe kind of go along. The tumor is not dangerous. The primary tumor rarely kills people, unless it grows big enough to obstruct an airway or an artery or something. But it's the metastatic process that's dangerous. And what we now know from people like Professor Max Witcha, Max Dean at Stanford, Witches in Michigan, the literature, if you search cancer stem cells on Google, if any of the patients will search cancer stem cells, they'll see that the cancer stem cell is the real target. And um, one of my favorite quotes is um, Thomas Peichen in Gravity's Rainbow. He says, if you can get people to ask the wrong question, the answer doesn't matter. Mm. And the wrong question being asked is, how can we shrink tumors? How can we kill tumors? All my good, wonderful colleagues are targeting the tumors. For the last six years, I've been the only one saying, you've got to go after the cancer stem cells. If you shrink the tumor, it's not correlated to longevity. Mm. If you attack the tumor effectively, it will, as injured tissue, secrete an inflammatory cytokine to recruit uncommitted stem cells from the mesenchyme to, to, to migrate to the injured tissue, the cancer, which was attacked by the chemo. Now here come these stem cells to the attacked tumor, injured tissue, and they're saying, here we come. By the way, what would you like us to become? And they mm -hmm. become a tumor. That's why Max Witch is on record in a distinguished professor of oncology Max Witch is on record for saying, chemotherapy and radiation make your cancer worse. Mm. But you can't just stop a gazillion dollar industry in its tracks and have everyone say to their patients, sorry, no chemo today. You know, our gurus have told us not. Until they can start making money on an anti-inflammatory, which is what they're working on now, mm. because the anti-inflammatory will stop the recruitment of the cancer, of the, of the, non, of the stem cells which become cancer stem cells. Mm. Um, uh, so anyway, the, the thing I wanted to say there is that the real target is to stop cancer stem cells for three reasons. Only they metastasize. Tumor cells don't metastasize. The cancer stem cell metastasizes. The cancer stem cells are resistant to chemo and radiation. Mm -hmm. So you can do what you want with chemo and radiation. You're not targeting the real villain, the real culprit. And the third thing is that if you don't address the cancer stem cells, your cancer is coming back because hmm. those are the ones that can recreate a cancer. But nobody's targeting them. So I say to my patients, if you're going to see your oncologist, ask him or her, what are you going to do to help me be healthy while you kill my tumor? Because that's all they can do. The uh, current oncologists are only killing tumors and patients, but they're not killing cancer stem cells. And the second question is, what is your treatment going to do to my cancer stem cells? And Ty, then they have to watch the eyes of the oncologist. 
because if they get kind of a blank stare like, what Dead are you talking headlight? about? Then they're not up to speed on the literature. Right. And you got to run away. Hmm. And if they give this, oh, damn, I'm busted kind of sideways look, then it's a really unfortunate situation because they know that their treatments are not helping. They're just using the patient as a renewable resource, wow. which is tragic. It is. So cancer stem cells need to be addressed. And currently, the only way to do that is anti-inflammatories. And the anti-inflammatories help to kill the, the cancer stem cells? There's what? literature that says, for example, metformin selectively targets cancer stem cells. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of agents out there which selectively target cancer stem cells. And metformin, is a, is that a drug? It's a blood sugar lowering drug. Okay. But there's arthritis drugs, aspirin. You know, too much aspirin will kill you, but you gotta have some anti-inflammatories. We use a product called Soul, which is ground up black cumin seed, black raspberry seed, and Chardonnay grape seed. These are very powerful anti-inflammatory uh, seeds which have been well studied. Um, water, tremendous benefit just from having good quality water to flush your system. Seeds have oils in them, and oils help restore membrane, uh, membrane of cells integrity. So a lot of benefits to eating the seeds. Yeah.